So we just got back from an amazing trip to the Exumas in the Bahamas, and I'm going to share with you my top 17 best beaches and snorkeling spots in the Exumas. We're going to start with beaches that you can actually drive to on Great Exuma and Little Exuma. So you've got this big island, that's Great Exuma, and then you have this smaller island, that's Little Exuma. We're going to start on the north side of Great Exuma and head down south to the very south end of Little Exuma. And then I'm going to show you the best beaches that we went to by boat. So let's get started by going to the very north end of Great Exuma to Exuma Point Beach. With amazing snorkeling on one side and a sandbar to explore on the other side, you've got to go to Exuma Point Beach on Great Exuma in the Bahamas. The first thing you're going to see is the sandbar area. And then as you keep going, that's where the great snorkeling is. So we went there. You can snorkel all along this reef. You can see that there's this old dock and we saw all sorts of fish, some nurse sharks, really cool spot to go snorkeling. So after snorkeling, we got out, we drove over to the sandbar area and decided to explore. So we left Exuma Point Beach, headed down the Queens Highway. You're going to make a left on this dirt road, and then that'll take you to Coco Plum Beach. And if you head to the south end of the beach, there's some beautiful sandbars to explore. From Coco Plum Beach, we took the dirt road back, got on the Queens Highway, and took it down to Farmer's Hill Beach. As you come out onto Farmer's Hill Beach, the view to the left is just super soft sand, crystal clear water. And then on the right hand side of this beach, there's a rocky area that has some great snorkeling. So from Farmer's Hill Beach, we headed over to Three Sisters Beach. The rocky area that we snorkeled is the divider between Farmer's Hill Beach and Three Sisters Beach. You'll walk over and as you come out, you'll see these three big rocks out in the ocean. Those are the Three Sisters Rocks. From Three Sisters Beach, we headed back onto the Queens Highway heading south to Moss Town Beach. So we left Moss Town Beach, we got back onto the Queens Highway heading south, and then we made a left-hand turn to Tar Bay Beach. We took a short dirt road to get there, and we found that we had this beach all to ourselves. So we left Tar Bay Beach, we took the dirt road back, got onto the Queens Highway and headed south towards Hooper's Bay Beach. There's a Hooper's Bay Beach access area where you can park on the side of the road. You walk over to the beach and then you're gonna walk to the south end of the beach to see the turtles.
So we wrapped up snorkeling with the turtles at Hooper's Bay Beach. We walked the beach back to the beach access area, got in our Jeep, and we headed south on the Queens Highway over to Jolly Hall Beach. As we got to Jolly Hall Beach, we parked and then we walked a short path to the beach. This is a beautiful beach. On the left hand side or the north facing side, this is where we found the best snorkeling was. So we left Jolly Hall Beach. This was the last beach that we were exploring on Great Exuma, and now we're heading down to Little Exuma. On our way down, we went through Georgetown, which is the main town or shopping area on Great Exuma. And then you follow the Queens Highway down. It's gonna take you to this one lane bridge that crosses over to Little Exuma. Once you cross that bridge, you're gonna follow the Queens Highway and that will take you to Pretty Molly Beach, which is the first beach that we went to on Little Exuma. So from Pretty Molly Beach, we got back onto the Queens Highway. We headed south and we went to Forbes Hill Beach. You'll make a left-hand turn onto this dirt road. There's a parking lot. And then Forbes Hill Beach actually has two different beach areas to explore and some great snorkeling. So we left Forbes Hill Beach and headed south on the Queens Highway to our last beach on Little Exuma, which is the Tropic of Cancer Beach. You'll make a left onto this dirt road, follow it. When you get there, there's a little bit of beach you can explore to the right, but this is a really long beach that heads to the left or heading north. And then this rocky area here is where we did all of our snorkeling. So as we finished up at the Tropic of Cancer Beach, that was the last beach on Little Lixuma. So now we are ready to go back to Georgetown to rent a boat and then to go across the bay to explore Stocking Island and a bunch of other islands. So we headed back up the Queens Highway to Georgetown and went to Men's Water Sports. This is the place that we rented our boat from. This is in Georgetown at Elizabeth Harbor. This is what it looks like when you're pulling up. We parked and then we went into the building and got checked in. After checking in, we headed down to our boat, got in and headed out. So in Elizabeth Harbor, you're gonna go out and then you're gonna go underneath this bridge and then out into the open water. So we went to the north end of Stocking Island. We explored the North Beach first and then went to Starfish Beach.
Then we got back in our boat and headed up to Starfish Beach, and this beach did not disappoint. We found all sorts of starfish. So after exploring the north end of Stocking Island and Starfish Beach, we got back in our boat and we headed down to Chat and Chill Beach Bar and Grill. This is a really cool restaurant where you pull your boat right up on the beach, hop out, get a bite to eat, there's stingrays that you can pet, and just overall a really cool experience. After exploring this little island, we went up to get a bite to eat. So you go in, place your order. When your food's ready, they'll call your name over the loudspeaker. We ordered uh, burgers and conch burgers. So after eating, we headed over to a part of the beach where we saw that there was a bunch of stingrays. You can pet them, feed them. This was really cool. So from Chat and Chill Beach, we got back in our boat and we headed south towards Sand Dollar Beach. We got out, this is really shallow water and we went uh, looking for sand dollars, which we found all over the place. And then we headed to the Southern Tip. We weren't sure if this is still Sand Dollar Beach, but this was definitely our favorite beach on Stocking Island. And I think you'll see why. From Sand Dollar Beach and the southern end of Stocking Island, we got back in our boat and we headed over to explore Red Shank Keys Beach. So we pulled up to the beach, we anchored, we hung out, explored, did some snorkeling, and overall, we absolutely love this beach. From Red Shank Keys Beach, we got back in our boat and we headed over to Manowar Key Sandbar and Beach. First, we went to the north end and explored this huge sandbar. This sandbar is absolutely amazing. After being there for a while, then we headed south and we went to the Manowar Key Beach and explored the beach and the sandbar on the south end. So from Manowar Key, Sandbar and Beach, we wrapped up the day. We got back in our boat and headed back to Georgetown to return our boat to men's water sports. 
Once we returned our boat, we got in our Jeep and we headed north to do an excursion with Exuma Water Sports. So this excursion is by boat as well, uh, but it's a lot farther to get to Staniel Key and the surrounding islands. So I listed this as number 17 for the best beaches and snorkeling, but there's actually quite a few things because you have to book this excursion to go to all these places. I wrapped it all into one, but I'm gonna show you everything that we did on this excursion as well. So our excursion consisted of these eight stops. Our first stop was to visit Rocky Guanas at Leaf Key. Then on stop two, we got to see a plane wreck at Staniel Key. Stop three, we went snorkeling at Thunderball Grotto. Stop four was the Pig Beach at Big Majors Key. Stop five was swimming with sharks at Compass Key. Stop six was exploring the sandbar at Little Pipe Key. Stop seven, we ate a delicious lunch at Staniel Key Yacht Club. And lastly, in stop eight, we went to the Musician Mermaid to snorkel at Ruddercut Key. Next, we headed up to Staniel Key to see the plane wreck. From the plane wreck, we headed over to Thunderball Grotto to do some snorkeling. We went at low tide, so it was easy to get into the grotto. From Thunderball Grotto, we got back on the boat and we headed over to Pig Beach to swim with the pigs. As you pull up in the boat, the pigs come out, you're able to feed them carrots and then go on the beach and explore. This is a really cool spot. So after spending time at Pig Beach, we got back on the boat and we headed up to Compass Key where we were gonna swim with sharks. After Compass Key, we got in the boat and we headed over to explore the sandbar at Little Pipe Key. So after hanging out at the sandbar, we headed down for lunch. Lunch was included as part of our full day excursion and we went to the Staniel Key Yacht Club to eat lunch. The food was delicious and after eating, we went out to the pier. We found these steps where you could go down and swim with more nurse sharks. So after eating and swimming with nurse sharks, we headed down to the Musician Mermaid to do some snorkeling and this is at Ruddercut Key. So that wraps up my top 17 best beaches and snorkeling spots in the Exumas and the Bahamas. Now you know where to go via car or renting a boat or doing an excursion. And I hope this video helps you choose which destinations you're going to visit on your next trip to the Exumas.